Constitution. And we are not noise, we are people. I received an email from the TCA attorney, Mr. Rubin. He contacted me to discuss the civil rights violations, singling me out from all the others who had their civil rights violated on June the 5th at the public forum at Saddleback College. This raised some serious questions as to why I was selected because I had no contact with him. I don't know how he got my email. Did someone at the TCA specifically target me again? Why was I selected? Was it due to my race, the color of my skin, my gender, my disability, or something else? Or was it because I spoke up against LGBT rights, about segregation based on gender? at the last one of the TCA meetings? What about everyone else that had their civil rights violated? So we are not noise, Ms. Shea. They are equally important. You swore to defend the Constitution. We are not noise, we are people, we are human beings. And we're not acting on emotion. This is our right and you violated our civil rights. I'm ashamed of everybody because we have not received even a true and legitimate apology for all the civil rights violations on that night. You should be ashamed of yourselves. And this is not based on emotion, this is just based on our civil rights. Again, you were sworn to defend the Constitution. Keep that in your mind every single minute. Thank you. Thank you.